scientists have at last disclosed what lies at the bottom of the Oak Island money grave. It's similar to a traditional tale about concealed riches and traps, but with a twist. Despite the fact that we know precisely where the treasure is concealed, recovering it has proven to be an arduous task. In most instances, the greatest difficulty in locating buried treasure is in locating it. In this case, however, it is retrieving it that poses the greatest challenge. Numerous individuals have theorized and attempted to solve this issue, but no one has yet been successful. The mystery encircling Oak Island and its fabled lost wealth has attracted countless treasure hunters for over two centuries, but scientists have now revealed what is at the bottom of the Oak Island money pit. Despite the efforts of numerous people, including notable figures such as Franklin D. Roosevelt, Errol Flynn, and John Wayne, the treasure remained stubbornly buried in the earth, resulting in the deaths of several people. In 1795, a man named Daniel McGuinness discovered a strange circular depression on an uninhabited island off the coast of Nova Scotia. McGuinness, a fan of the genre, decided to investigate the depression after hearing rumors that Captain Kidd had buried two million pounds of treasure east of Boston. The following day, McGuinness and his companions returned to the site and began excavating. Initially, the ground was very soft, but after roughly three meters, they struck something solid. It was a piece of oak, not a hoard of gold. Initially, this did not appear to be much, but as the men delved deeper, they discovered another plank, and then another. Along the sidewalls of the trench they were excavating, they also observed what appeared to be pick and shovel marks. Someone excavated and then filled in the trench many years ago. Due to the island's size and isolation, it is highly unlikely that someone dug such a large and deep grave for any purpose other than to conceal something of great value. The search for the missing treasure of Captain Kidd had officially begun. However, despite vertically descending the equivalent of three stories, no treasure was discovered. The workers ran out of resources, time, equipment, and people, and gave up constructing the massive hole in the earth, henceforth referred to as the Money Pit. The Money Pit on Oak Island had attracted treasure hunters from all over the world, despite the fact that excavation had been abandoned following a failed initial attempt. In 1802, 30 men from the neighboring hamlet of Onslaught arrived with shovels and pickaxes and began excavating the ditch, making it deeper than it had been previously. Approximately 27 meters in depth, they discovered a large stone engraved with a cipher that, when deciphered, would disclose a hidden message, as well as wooden platforms spaced at three meter intervals. 10 feet down, 2 million pounds are concealed. However, Disaster struck just as it appeared that Captain Kidd's treasure had been found. The onslaught personnel returned to the money pit one morning to discover that it had been completely submerged by 18 meters of water. Due to this strange and unanticipated event, the extracted shaft is now useless and cannot be used for further excavation. The onslaught's troops, undeterred by their defeats, resolved to dig a shaft parallel to the money pit in order to access the treasure from the side. The fact that the second shaft also filled rendered their efforts futile and compelled them to abandon their goal. Another determined search for Captain Kidd's concealed treasure did not commence for nearly 50 years. In 1849, a team from Toro arrived and redigged the two holes that the onslaught crew had dug. The water filled the openings once more, rendering their efforts futile. The Toro firm observed an anomaly that the onslaught crew did not notice. A portion of the water in the pits was mildly salty and its level appeared to vary with the tide. This suggested that seawater was finding its way into the money pit, which was located approximately 40 meters inland. Following a search of the island's shores, the crew discovered the beginning of a small canal that led to the money pit, which was located deep below. This was the first indication of the odd, unexplainable events that would plague the search for Captain Kidd's wealth. The treasure hunters were determined to obtain Captain Kidd's loot, but the discovery of the mined flood system was a significant setback. Despite the apparent value of whatever was at the bottom of the hole, accessing it was exceedingly difficult due to the elaborate security measures in place. The Toro crew dug numerous shafts to approach the pit from a variety of directions, but their efforts were frequently thwarted by water and sudden cave-ins. They were ultimately compelled to abandon their search for the treasure, forever altering the allure of Oak Island. Since then, Swarms of people have flocked to Oak Island in the hopes of excavating the money pit's buried riches. 
Over the past 170 years, countless explorers have flocked to Oak Island in quest of the rumored legendary treasure buried at the bottom of the money pit. Some have attempted to avoid the complex booby traps in the flood tunnels, while others have dug ditches on other parts of the island, frequently at the cost of human life and spawning fanciful rumors of a curse. In spite of the development of ever more advanced instruments, such as steam pumps in the 1860s and divers in 1909, treasure hunters have attempted and failed throughout history. Even though they sent apparatus for digging and divers to the island in 1909, the old gold salvage gang was unable to break Oak Island's curse. Franklin Delano Roosevelt, the future president of the United States, is rumored to have been a member of the original Gold Savage Group and to have been fascinated by its mystery throughout his entire existence. Errol Flynn and John Wayne, two of Hollywood's greatest stars of the 1930s, donated money to multiple expeditions. According to legend, King George VI of England instructed two treasure hunters to submit their finds. Despite numerous searches, the treasures of Oak Island have evaded discovery. Rick and Marty Legina, brothers who were filming their treasure search on Oak Island for the History Channel, were in charge. The fact that this is the ninth season of the program could be indicative of how successful their quest has been thus far. The siblings have unearthed a variety of intriguing artifacts, such as money, weapons, and jewelry, but they have yet to find Captain Kidd's legendary loot. The longer one searches without discovering the treasure, the more reasonable it becomes to question its very existence. The story should be regarded as a myth, despite the fact that many people have searched for his riches. The discovery of evidence that Daniel McGuinness had discovered the money pit in the 1790s did not occur until 1857. In addition, the account differs based on the cited source. There is little evidence to suggest that Captain Kidd concealed valuables on Oak Island, and the popular conception of pirates is wholly fictitious. Walking the plank and other stereotypes, such as parrots and prosthetic legs, are not supported by substantial evidence. The portrayal of Robin Newton as Long John Silver in the 1950 film adaptation of Treasure Island also contributed to the mythologizing of the infamous pirate incident. Contrary to conventional belief, there is only one well-documented case of a pirate actually burying treasure, and it wasn't them, Captain William Kidd. Be sure to stay informed and subscribe for more information on recent discoveries and findings. On Gardner Island, 500 miles away, Kidd buried his wealth, which was discovered less than a year later and used as evidence in his trial and execution. However, it is also conceivable that Kidd hid treasure on Oak Island. Why would Kidd, or any pirate for that matter, go through the trouble of excavating a 30-meter deep booby-trapped pit? to conceal treasure if the objective was merely to keep anything valuable secure. A few meters would have sufficed, correct? Even if Kidd did bury wealth on Oak Island, it is likely lost forever due to the inability of modern technology, such as ground-penetrating radar, to discover it. In 1995, the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution conducted a scientific investigation of Oak Island to locate any concealed treasure. As a result of their investigation, the crew came to the disappointing conclusion that the fabled inundation of the money pit was not the result of a complex trap, but rather the result of natural geological processes on the island. In Nova Scotia, near Oak Island, there are sinkholes that share some characteristics with the original money pit. Even if the cryptography stones and oak platforms discovered in the money pit appear to disprove this theory, it is important to note that many of these critical pieces of evidence have not vanished despite having been a part of the Oak Island legend for more than a century. Scientists are astounded by a startling new discovery, which can be viewed by clicking the following video.